Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Football Manager 2017. Today, we're going to get destroyed by the Rangers. Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a tough one, not going to lie. It'd be great to keep a possession, position in the uh, standings here, but um, it would be a miracle to come out with a draw over here. Um, very, very sad. I was going to try to recruit... Um... Where, where, where would be the news about things not happening? Um, I guess we can just... Oh, here it is. This guy. I was going to try to recruit this guy. Um, who, again, 19 years old. We don't have that much information about him. Um, but he was going to be available on a free. You can see he's fairly cheap here as well. At least what he's getting paid now. Valued at 900 pounds, it says, for this guy. That looked like he would have been a great addition to our group. Um, the problem is I tried to offer him a contract. We actually did ne negotiated something successfully, which is great. And then his team went and triggered a contract extension, which canceled that. And if I try to make an offer, they want something like 55000 or something like that for it. So I think that's probably a, a good sign that his potential was high. We'll see. Anyway, that contract is only for a year, so we may keep an eye on him. I've got him on the short list, and we're taking the opportunity to do a full scout. Like, I'd done like a couple weeks worth of scouting to get a bit more info. And it felt good, and I didn't want someone else to snatch him up. If he was going to be a cheap free transfer was going to be great but we'll, we'll have to try him again in um in a few months and see if we can pick him up because i think he's going to be a good addition um ricky lammy he's uh he's back over here and actually uh i just realized alexis sauvage um can start for us so let's take james brown out of there uh let's move um alan Mc mcdermal what is it Mer mermalad over there and we'll put alexis savage in there it should be okay so our primary goalkeeper is back uh we're gonna keep going with these instructions because i think overall they're working okay i mean we only went down one nil to the celtics it could have been way worse and in fact we had great possession throughout uh mostly we didn't have a lot of good scoring opportunities um well actually we had a few but we got like way beat out by some great defense and great goalkeeping so yeah same very similar odds to the last time actually rangers are one to six favorite we are 10 to one dog even five to one dog to just draw which is really what we're trying to target we'll see how it goes um both teams come in good form you rate your chances ahead of kickoff um not good yeah rangers are as good as they come uh tom flanagan takes the captain's armband natural choice it's fine yeah we could, we've been shuffling a few things around four two three one wide over here we played with this before um opposition instructions what your what's your advice wow tackle everyone hard you know what we're gonna do it and we're gonna have to hope that something like that is gonna lead us to victory um we're gonna go in with passion over here uh but go on and give the fans a performance to cheer for eh, it could have been better and we could do a little bit more individual talks here but we'll leave it off all right, the shadows are crazy in the stadium. It's really amazing. So we're going to play on our white and black striped kit over here against the blue of the Rangers. And as I was gonna say, you know, to me, like, Rangers would be green, except I know the Celtics are green, so I guess, you know, that wouldn't work too well. Uh, we really uh, fizzled their very first little run with the ball here, which is kind of interesting. Coming in on six minutes, 50-50 on stats, coming in on 10. An injury on the other side right away. Buckley out, McKay in. What does that mean? Who is McKay? The wing over there. So potentially not as good. Uh, we had no specific instructions on the fella there before. Um, I think we'll throw in some, you know, close down, tackle hard kind of things on this guy. We're gonna. There's gonna have to be a certain amount of desperation there if we can. We are almost 20 minutes in. Uh, only two fouls so far. No yellow cards. Referee did look like he'd be a little more chill. McGuffey does not win that header. Ralston heads it right back to the Rangers. Adams gets it over to McGuffey, who can cross it to Nyane. We'll finally have a little bit of time to get the ball to settle on someone's foot. Crossing over to Emmanuel Thomas. Well, not a cross, but you know what I mean. Fraser back to Thomas, who's struggling to find some of the past two. He sent it back to Flanagan. I was actually expecting a move over to Crawford there instead, although Flanagan might have had a better angle to one of our fullbacks, for example. Back to Flanagan. And we're playing counter mentality. There's going to be a lot more of that sort of backwards passing, holding on. Looking for an opportunity like this. Can Yanni deliver? Oh my god. That was gorgeous. Nyani, I think it's that move in the channel instruction, which I'm loving. And I feel like it took us three freaking seasons to recognize, I can't, we can't believe an offside wasn't given there. Should we, like, review? Well, someone can't believe it. Probably the opposition can't believe it. Holt with the corner of the header. Savage grabbing it out of the air. Really going to be happy to have Savage back in here for us. We're only at 71% pass, pass completion here, uh, which is not that high. 
And, I mean, we've got enough passes in here to get... Oh, Nyane with the header! Oh, I thought... The angle is very hard to tell there. I thought it was actually going straight from McGuffey's feet, but no. McKay fumbles the, the first touch there a little bit, but who was that? It's Caleb Crane completely failing to uh, deny the ball there. Long shot away. Savage is easily going to be able to grab that out of the air. We only had one shot on, but it counted. And that's the sort of thing we need. We just need to get a little bit lucky there on some of these. Nyane doesn't even try to jump for the ball. Crawford, though, is able to intercept that headed pass. Gets it to Tom Emmanuel Thomas. Up to Nyane, who... Whoa! Sliding tackle gets missed! Kayla, or Craig McGuffey with the one-time shot. But Craig, again, struggling as we've seen since we've gotten him in the first place with the accuracy of his finish. A bit unfortunate there. Ebu Adams gets it over to Robbie Crawford. Robbie Crawford to Gary Fraser. Gary Fraser can boot it just up. I was going to say Emmanuel Thomas. One time over to Nyane, who's forced back a little bit and back a reset to Ebu Adams. Ebu Adams can probably move it forward to no one. Gets it denied. I was sure he's going to get it over to Craig McGuffey. Robbie Crawford steals the ball away. Adams to Thomas. Emmanuel Thomas, that is to say. Emmanuel Thomas does get it up to McGuffey, but he was forced to go backwards to do that. So we're going to have to do a few more passing back to Emmanuel Thomas. Over Crawford, who can send it forward to Fraser. Fraser over to McGuffey. McGuffey to Nyane. Yes, but Nyane is forced to take the shot from far away. But I gotta say, that was actually delivered not too bad. I mean, not too far off of where the goalkeeper was. But with enough power, we've seen balls go past people like that before. We are keeping up the pressure here. Crawford with the corner. It gets uh, snatched out of the air, though. 3-3 three, three on shots. Possession's about even. And pass completion rate's a little lower for us, and our tackles haven't been going all that well either. Not that we have a huge sample. Nyane is going to be forced to reset it to Adams. Too bad he couldn't find a way to center it in front of the net. Adams does get it to McGuffey, who's going to be forced. I was going to say, Fraser looks pretty good there. Fraser gets it to Tony Ralston. Tony Ralston with the shot. It goes wide. Tony Ralston, not really known for his finishing, of course. But it is going to lead us to a corner. Uh, looks like Ebu Adams is going to be taking that force. Interesting. Oh, right. We don't have, um, we don't have Maguire. Or that's Emmanuel Thomas. My bad. Uh, Nyane keeps the offense. We get... That, I guess that was a shot attempt, maybe. Eh, a little bit rough there. Would have been better. Because I thought it was a cross, and I realized, oh, we have no one near the net. So I don't know what that was, other than a really crazy shot attempt. I think a sort of resetting to a pass might have been better. This is not good. Not good at all! And just like that, it's a draw. I knew it. Right from the... As soon as that, that pass started... It's like, no part of this is going to be good for us. Ah, that, that is kind of disappointing. And they've got another free kick right over here. It looks like we are going to be able to ooh, get it right back into their foot. He's going to just take a shot from there. Thank goodness it wasn't a very powerful shot. Alexis Savage clutches that, getting ready to reset. I mean, the shots are even. We could get lucky again and end up 2-1. I would not expect a win. Again, a, a draw would be quite miraculous here, playing away against a team of this caliber. A draw would be a godsend, but man, there was a moment we were ahead. There was a moment we were ahead, and wouldn't it be amazing? This does not look fantastic. Oh, good, it goes wide. Holy crap. Holy crap. The, the commentator says it's an absolute, absolute sitter. I don't know what that means. Like, to me, that means, like, it's a shot that you could just sit down for because it's not that exciting. McGuffey gets it to Gary Fraser. He's the, he does actually find a window to get a shot, forcing a pretty aggressive dive. It wasn't that far off from the goalkeeper, but he was forced to do a dive, leading to a corner. Do we have an opportunity here? Manuel Thomas is going to be taking that corner. What do we get out of it? Nyane tries to leap for it, um, and the goalkeeper had to run out for it. I don't know if the goalkeeper ever misses in those situations, because it feels like the perfect opportunity for like something to happen. I suspect... I don't know, it's like a game code like mechanic. I suspect every time he actually does that, it's one where he succeeds, but I don't know. Uh, that was a huge mistake by our team to let them be able to execute that play. Luckily, their finishing failed there because that could have easily been a 2-1 situation for them. Gary Fraser doing a 7.4 job. That was a good first half. Listen, um, uh, you know what? Happy your performance so far. Keep it up. Freaking right. Freaking right. Uh, Craig McGuffey not having a whole lot of luck at a 6.4, unfortunately. But Nyane, who was on a goal drought, did get to break it here. Breaking it against the Rangers. Manuel Thomas over to Adams. Adams sends it far! F for I, I don't know what that was supposed to be. However, Browning here, I think making a bit of a mistake with this uh, defensive header, just knocks it out of play, giving us a throw. 
Although it looks like it didn't lead to anything because now we're at a goal kick over here. Uh, Ralston wins the header. McGuffey, I don't think, wins the header, but Ralston gets it on there and sends it straight down to Emmanuel Thomas's feet. Gary Fraser, he's going to be forced to get rid of it. He does get it and sends it forward. Thomas, oh, we've lost the ball. Fraser with a bit of a standing sliding tackle fails to get it in there. Waghorn doesn't look like he's going to have a lot of support in front of the net. F uh, Flanagan knocks it out of the way, but Rossiter, nope, way off target. Huge audience here today. Lots of people watching. Of course, lots of Rangers supporters out there. Very popular team, of course. That's one of the reasons they have so much money for so many good players. Very near to McKay. Fraser with the tackle, but it does not. Whew, it does not result in clearing the ball. Luckily, Waghorn doesn't have the ability to take a, a good strike on the net there. Savage is easy to be able to clutch it. I'm so happy he's back in here for us. I mean, Mermelod is good, but he's no Alexis Savage. I mean, on paper, they have very similar stats, but I think there's... Um, like sort of a ball handling, like grabbing stat that's very different. Savage is really good at actually holding on to the ball. And I think that makes a big difference. Oh, Thomas with a backwards pass to Craig McGuffey. Angle's not very good for a shot, though. Can he get it to a partner? He gets it to Gary Fraser, who's... Is that a chest hit towards the net? I mean, it must have been a header, but from my angle, it kind of looked like he bopped it with his chest, which I'm sure you can do, although that's not going to deliver much in the way of power and control. Oh, Caleb Crane intercepts that slow pass and oh, sort of dodges what looked like a tackle attempt there. Gets to Emmanuel Thomas. Over to Gary Fraser. Gary Fraser back to Crawford. Crawford, who can you send it to? Back to Fraser. Over to Ebu Adams. Can we find a window? Forward to McGuffey, but someone's right on him. Backwards pass to Fraser, who's got lots of space! Hits with massive power into the goalkeeper who cannot handle the ball. It's going to lead to a corner. I mean, that could have easily been a goal. Can't complain about anything that leads to a corner there. Shots are 10-8. We had five clear-cut chances. Five clear-cut chances. I think it just goes to show you how good the goalkeeper is. Considering this, this clearly indicates we've been beating their defense soundly again and again and again. Big sliding tackle. It is going to lead to a throw-in, but that should be better overall than if they had just been allowed to continue that play. Let's take a look. We're 60 minutes in. No one's too terribly exhausted. Um, play quality is going sort of middling up for some people. Uh, Ricky Lamy a little low. Let's just do a quick little look over here um, at... Has anyone been making a huge amount of mistakes on our side? Who is that? Robbie Crawford with a couple. Third cr uh, mistake over here we might want to sub out robbie crawford a little sooner then how about on the rangers side 13 13 13 is making a lot of mistakes who is that taylor something um 13 oh, that's right in the middle that's i don't think that's anything we can specifically go and um try to target because it's not really one wing or another um but yeah we might want to pull out robbie crawford here if he has been making a fair amount of mistakes with a 6.6 .6 score uh, bring in Ross Doherty instead. He's fairly comfortable in that role. That should be okay. Does he have something he would prefer to play? No, that's basically as comfortable as he'll get. I still like the idea of the deep-lying playmaker here. I think that's going to be okay. Um, we could, and you know what? Emmanuel Thomas hasn't been doing that well. Let's go ahead and bring in Chris McGuire over here. Okay, double substitute. It's a little early for that, but I think it's probably a half-decent idea. Let's see what we can do. That substitution hasn't happened yet. Can we take away the ball away, force a whistle so we can do some sort of sub? Okay, Caleb Crane with a beautiful little steal of the ball there. I mean, I guess you call those all tackles? I mean, to me, you know, I've been influenced too much by Canadian slash American style football to think that a tackle is like, you know, physically pushing someone to the ground or something like that. But, oh, Emmanuel Thomas with a terrible mistake there. Yeah, I think subbing him in is going to be a great idea. Ebu Adams with a beautiful steal. Back to Emmanuel Thomas. Can you... You send it backwards. You see, I don't know. I don't know. Gary Fraser uh, gets taken away. I'm surprised he didn't try to send it up to uh, Craig McGuffey. It's a little disappointing, but they might not be looking to t pass it to the advance forwards directly. They might be looking to do a little bit more of those, those through passes. Ricky Lammy picks up the ball and is going to be able to play it defensively to the goalkeeper, who sends it. Looks like that would have been sent off for a throw-in, which is a little bit odd. Our substitutions have just taken place. Okay, Docker, you're not coming in with the highest of conditions, but I think we should be okay. McKay with the free kick. Does get sent towards the net. Luckily goes wide to a goal kick. Uh, that was a little bit terrifying. Five clear-cut chances. We only got it in once. Can we 
somehow pull out a miracle goal here. Caelan Crane getting quite tired. I'm also tempted to do a substitute of a striker here. Yellow card for Ebu Adams, who actually is down to a 6.5. He's been playing fairly well overall. Still, I'm going to go ahead and sub out Ebu if we've got... Yeah, we've got Andy Yegan that we can throw in here. That's going to be good. That way we don't have the risk of a red card or anything like that. Yeah. I think that's going to be a fine way to finish it off. Strengthening up the midfield a little bit too. Uh, was that set to ball winning midfielder? Yes. Okay, good. Because that's what he should be playing. McKay with a free kick. Grant gets on there, but like, I don't know how you missed that. How you send it so far over the net from that close. Seems like a pretty bad failure. Craig McGuffey pulling him offside. Only got a few minutes left. I'm not going to go into overload. We're going to be, again, very happy to grind out the draw here. A little disappointed given the... F oh! Wait. What? I'm... Why didn't the other guy kick it in? I was sure that's what was going to happen there. Yeah, going into this, I was going to be very, very happy with the draw. Remember, we're like a 5-1 to one dog against um, just a draw. Would have, would have been such a coup to win. Could still... Something could still happen either way. No, nope, McGuffey can't get that one. Tony Ralston, though, keeps up the offense. You got to dump it quickly. Yes, center it up to Chris McGuire. McGuire boots it gently to McGuffey, who takes a shot. Does get deflected off some bodies there. And looks like it is going to lead to a Rangers offense. No, Tony Ralston looks like he'd taken the ball away right at the end there. Um, we are in a situation with two... About a minute and a half left. With a Rangers aggression... I just threw my glasses. I just threw my glasses. I... Oh, offside! 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 Holy shit! Oh, 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 oh my god. I'm like, we're so close to ending this with a draw. So close. Yeah, so Baj will take his time here. You bet he will. You bet he will. I'm not, I don't even have to tell them. That's great. To start doing a little bit of time wasting. They are in a lower tempo, so it's going to happen automatically. Miani does head it in the direction of McGuffey. And we get to keep up the offense here, but mm, nope. Okay. Oh, Crane. I mean, we've still got 40 seconds left. Can Crane? No. That was going to be an interesting pass attempt, but just too many physical interceptions. Uh, Caleb, I think that was Caleb Crane, could not take the ball away. Oh, that's Ross Doherty. Could not do the tackle. And clear the ball. Defend, defend, defend. Defend, defend, defend. Ross Doherty. Tavernier with a big cross! Savage snatches it out of the air again. Again. Listen, just hold on to the ball for the last 15 seconds, man. It's fine. Just just hold the ball. Or yeah, send it as deep as possible. It's fine. Oh my god. They are gonna have maybe one last opportunity. Depends on exactly when the, the, they blow the whistle. It's not gonna be exactly 92 minutes, but <laughs> I mean, I know that only ended in draw, but that was one of the most tensest, most dramatic ones ever. Um, who's Gary Fraser ending up with a 7.8 rating at the end of this match? And actually, Niani did as well. These are insanely good numbers. I might want to do a little bit of yelling at some people. I don't know if... Can I yell from here? Because we're still in the game. Can I, like... Um, no, I can't interact right now. Yeah, because I'm still in the match. All right. There was the injury on the other side. Yeah, we might want to do a little strategic yelling at people over here. I mean, it was a tough match. Hold on to draw. You're freaking right. You're freaking right we do. Um, squad. Selection info? That's average rating last few games. Um, oh, we can probably do it from here. Um, if I go to my schedule, I'm like, I just did it some way. Ooh, the game against the Hearts is going to be televised. We should get some good money out of that. If we go here, and we can't sort by rating, although I can say click on Ebu now. Interaction, there we go. So we're going to warn player about his last game. Um, I'm going to be assertive. Your passing wasn't good enough. Yeah, he's as disappointed. Okay. I mean, that, that, you know, my... Oops, did I... I think I accidentally clicked another link for another highlight. That's not what I wanted to do. Well, I guess we're going to end it here. Our next match is against Hearts to televise. we got to see what the other teams have done. I'm really happy to get away with one point here. I mean, if I was going to draw anyone or not lose against anyone, it would be the people who are actually near me in the standings here. Ah, Hearts, Aberdeen, Motherwell all got a win. The Hibs and Falkirk did not, though. Actually, Motherwell and Hearts still have an extra game on us to play. It feels very unlikely that we will, in fact, go up in rating at this point. So now the fight is going to be to see if we can hold on to 7th. Um, 
which is going to be tough. I guess the Hibs got a, a point as well. They must have, because I think they were two apart. Now we're still two apart over here. Um, so schedule over here. Only two matches. We've got the Hearts here televised and Aberdeen at home. <sighs> Greg Doherty. Oh, yes. Other Doherty is going to be out. Well, we're going to see. We've got 16 days. I can't believe how much, how many gaps there are at the end of the season over here. High intensity. Um, I guess we can high intensity over here as well. Oh, I think something got moved. I'm thinking something got moved. Um, and we're going to be trying for... Like, I'm thinking about doing some specific attack training, especially against Aberdeen here. And I don't think we need to do... There you go. Something like that. I wonder if I should put in a day of rest right here. Because high throughout and then a day of rest. Maybe, hmm. That's probably fine. I suppose I could switch the uh, the match training over here. That will lighten it out. Because this is less intense, I think. Because it says overall workload goes down. So maybe we'll do that. Hopefully we don't get any injuries in here doing the high training. You know, it's late enough in the season. You know what? I am just going to set it to average. And I'm going to set this back to something like this. I think that actually is good. It's late enough in the season. We can just go back to average uh, training intensity because we're not really investing for the long term. And I don't want to have any injuries right over here. And I want to come in 100% rested there. High intensity here, I think, makes a lot of sense. Um, I think all the areas is going to be okay. I think there are places I can get reports for like, hey, how's our teamwork overall or something like that? I don't know. Um, still some wage budget left. Well, I'm trying to pick up those free transfers. But yeah, we have no transfer budget at all. That's okay. Um, doesn't work hard enough, individually or collectively. Hmm. Lacks quality decision-making. Oh, no, we could do more to get more teamwork. I'm wondering over here if... That's team cohesion and understanding. I don't know if that's the same as actual just teamwork training. Cohesion and understanding. Yeah, it's, it looks like it's the same thing. Maybe we should do... I know it's a little bit late, but let's do a week worth of team cohesion. We have been, we have done a few hires and stuff like that. We may have never gotten the opportunity to raise the team cohesion enough um, after doing a few hires. So maybe it's worth investing in a week of that as we go into our final two matches, Hearts and then Aberdeen. Uh, we're going to go into Aberdeen a little bit tired, unfortunately, but I don't think there's any way we can resolve that. Um, we could throw in an extra day of rest or, you know, here we're going to do like low intensity that week. That seems like a pretty good idea. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you next time.